What is up, crypto hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack our metaverse and crypto education. If you guys are brand new here, slap a like on this video if you like that type of content and stick around to the end for a surprise. In this episode, I'm going to be going over Everscale and what they're doing with sharding is really, really unique. And what I wanted to do was break down how they're approaching these work chains and all the ways that they can improve what Ethereum 2.0 is doing through sharding. So if that sounds good to you, stick around to the end for a surprise. Now, first and foremost, a big problem in the crypto and blockchain space is throughput and transactions per second has been the buzzword that everyone has used for many years now. How many transactions can go through your chain at every single second to support various different applications. And everybody always really puts themselves next to Visa, saying that they can really compete with Visa. EOS really tried to just run that narrative into the ground and say like, we can do all of these incredible transactions. So Everscale has a new take on this, which I think is really unique. And it's through what they're calling work chains. And these are side chains that come in when their sharding approach gets even potentially close to overutilized. So when the master chain is actually getting utilized with a ton of transactions, the moment that it starts to even give an indication of getting bogged down, what happens is these work chains can be added to it. So it's a dynamic version of what sharding is doing with things like Ethereum 2.0. Now, if that sounds like a completely different language to you, it is just hyper complex things that are operating in the background with these L1 protocols. And there are going to be many cool innovations over the next couple of years here on L1s because things like Polygon and Ethereum kind of set the standard where Ethereum really got bogged down in early days with things like CryptoKitties and stuff like that. And people realized that scaling was an issue. So with L2s coming into the picture, like your Polygon and all these individual chains that are really trying to settle on the master chains later on and speed transactions through at a lower throughput cost to the user is a really impressive thing that we've witnessed over the last five years, especially here in crypto. It often gets brushed over and it is a very cool innovation, but the whole sharding movement that's taking place now, meaning that transactions are really sort of broken apart to help a lot more go through, it is a very unique time. So if you're brand new to the space in general, proof of stake is effectively people that can hold a certain amount of cryptos and operate nodes and they can host and govern the chain. The proof of stake being I'm a stakeholder and I'm able to hold on to this portion of tokens to help secure the network, help be you know part of the governing body that is supporting this network. It's a way to decentralize that is not proof of work, which is famously used by Bitcoin. And that is where you have actually mining rigs to support the network itself. It is a beautiful ecosystem. The proof of work and proof of stake ecosystems are phenomenal and I love watching these projects do these high scale experiments and seeing what they're doing with something similar to Polkadot and Ethereum 2.0 at Everscale is very fun to follow. So in a nutshell, effectively you have this endless amount of these work chains that are able to be added on to the Everscale network that the moment that there's a potential of being bogged down, it gets added on and it is effectively infinitely scalable. Part of the reason I am making this video is they partnered with the channel. They are a sponsor of this video to announce that they did a $5 million raise from a really awesome Abu Dhabi based fund called Venom Ventures. It's a billion dollar fund and they've invested five mil into this project. And this is not just a brand new company. This is like a quarter billion dollar crypto project here. And I think that that's important to mention. They didn't start yesterday and do a quick seed round. They have a remarkable sized company already. This is basically them announcing that they have already raised 5 million from this really cool fund that is going to help them through a strategic partnership with getting into more big companies and doing real world use cases of businesses transacting on chain using this dynamic sharding concept. And I think it's multi-threading is the other concept that they're using that allows for this infinite scalability to be added and make sure that the moment it could potentially get clogged up as the L1 protocol, it scales up. And I think that that's a really great approach to this. And I'm excited to see what they do with the Venom Foundation 
and Venom Ventures Fund because I've never heard of it until now, but ultimately a billion dollar blockchain fund is pretty incredible. After digging a little bit deeper into the rationale behind a strategic partnership like Venom and Everscale, I realized that Everscale is probably going to be a layer two option for the Venom blockchain project. And I think that that's really smart from the Venom blockchain project because effectively they're planning for this unlimited scale. So you have this full framework for CBDCs, you have the crypto on ramps that are gonna be utilizing this, and you have so many cool ways that you could effectively operate a full blown business like Visa on chain in the background. And that is a huge win because it is already a huge project in Asia. Right now, there are over 190 validators. Now, validators are what I mentioned before in a proof of stake network. They allow you to help govern and secure the network by participating in it. Now, a benefit of this video is they're not doing some sort of token sale or anything. This is literally just about announcing the partnership with Venom and that $5 million raise that they did. And this validator concept is really neat. I've done many videos in the past on master nodes and all different types of node operations. If you look through the channel, you'll see. And this is a really fun operation that they have with validators so that you can get involved in helping secure this network as they go out in partner with all these different businesses. The time of recording this, they have exactly 196 global validators, 1.1 million accounts. They have 65 million total transactions. And for people that are not familiar with the space, that is a lot of activity taking place. So with 25 plus working groups, that means that people are actually contributing to different ideas and testing things and developing things on the network. There's a lot of movement taking place. They have the Ever Token, it's on various different DEXs and sexes and all these different bridges and things like that are involved with EVM networks. And there is a ton of movement taking place here. And like I said, this isn't a new project. This is literally just an announcement that I wanted to work with them on because this is big with the Venom Ventures Fund. And I like the idea of them working with actual businesses, getting the payment rails in there and using and testing this infinite scalability approach with sharding and having these work chains added on whenever they're needed, whenever there's a potential for the network to get bogged down through a bunch of throughput, like let's say the central bank in Abu Dhabi. Last things I'll mention, in addition to this announcement, I wanted to mention that they have a grant program. I know there are a lot of builders and creators watching this channel that have been fans for a long time. They have a grant program where you can go on there and you can apply for grants to develop on top of Everscale. Now, this is a really great opportunity for people that are going out there looking to build dApps and different projects. And I think that this is something that you guys should definitely research. There's opportunities, obviously, with their validators to become one, but ultimately grants are a powerful way to get your toes wet. You can jump in, figure out how the tech works, and they have their light paper, their white paper that you can read through and figure out how to develop on it. They have the bridges, they have DEX listings, they have all these different things. And at a quarter billion dollars in market cap, you know, it's, it's relatively low risk in the grand scheme of things here. So definitely check that out. That's it for my overview here of this announcement for Everscale, what they're about, what this infinite scaling concept is. And I hope you guys like it. The proof of stake and proof of work arguments are always interesting. So leave your comments below what you think about proof of stake, what you think about proof of work, and let me know your thoughts and the surprise in this video is I'm moving studios. So I'm gonna be moving studios over the next month. You'll probably see some different backdrops going on over the next month or so, but that is it for this episode. Will be new background very shortly here on Hack Crypto, and I will see you on the next episode.